Okay, question 49. Um, we've got this one here. Tan phi plus 2 sine phi equals 0, and that's it. Now, we're not going to use that sine squared plus cos squared equals 1 nonsense in this particular question, right? Because there's no squares here. But we know the other relationship about tan. I mean, we know tan is sine over cos. Okay, so I would do that. And straight away, I would do that. You've got that equals 0, right? Now, what it can do here, I'm thinking, is just because you've got this cos in the bottom here, just times through the whole thing by cos. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so if I times through by cos, if you times that by cos, it would actually disappear, wouldn't it? They'd cancel, if you think about it, because ultimately I'd have this, wouldn't I? Times that by cos. Yeah? They would cancel. But of course, I've got to times the other thing by cos as well. Okay, and then I've got to times 0 by cos as well, which is just 0. So I end up having sine phi plus 2 sine phi cos phi equals 0. And to solve this then, you need to be able to see the sine phi in each term. So you're going to factorise out sine phi in the bracket. 1 plus 2 cos phi equals 0. Okay, now it's important you do that. Okay, don't, you know you don't want to be thinking you're like about dividing through by sine. You, you shouldn't do that because you know sine could equal zero. You're not supposed to do that. You do solutions. But you could factorize out sine like I've done, and then you say, look, I got this times this is zero. So either the first thing is zero, or the second thing is zero. Okay. And if the first thing is zero, sine phi, that's really easy, right? You just draw, you know, a quick sketch. It doesn't have to be amazing. Okay, you could just see where it's equal to zero. There. And am I right? We need solutions between zero and three sixty. No, zero and one eighty. Okay, zero and one eighty. So basically, it's just these two solutions here. So phi would equal zero and one eighty. Okay, so that's easily done. This one then, cos phi would equal minus one over two. So you need to get your calculator. So phi is 120. So now I'm going to need to draw the cos graph to get this done properly. Now I don't need to worry about anything else really. I just need to do those values there. Between 1, 0 and 180. So 120, that's it, isn't it? you just got the, the solution there. Just one solution. Okay, because all you're interested in, as I said, is between 0 and 180. So that's it. So you've got phi equals 0, 120, and 180. And we've answered the question.